trying to get this situated. Oh my gosh, I forgot I have dry shampoo in my hair. Ah! Does anyone else ever feel like it takes 30 years to get the dry shampoo rubbed into your hair? Or is it just me? All right, I think we're going with it. Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Monique and today I'm going to be walking you through kind of vlog style my hair routine. So a while back I posted a video on how I train my hair not to be greasy and how I go over eight days without washing my hair. And after I posted that, I kept getting so many comments and questions and a lot of people asking me how exactly I do that. I did post a few follow-up videos from that video, but I just kind of wanted to film this one to give you like an inside look and so that you could see exactly everything that I do because I always get so many compliments on my hair. You guys are so sweet. And I just kind of wanted to show you because I think that it'll be very, very helpful. There really is no science or anything like that to it that I do, but I do think that it will help for you to see an inside look. So without further ado, let's go back in time till I think February 8th. I think February 8th was the day that I started filming this. I'm not sure, it's been a while, it's been a journey. So let's go back in time to the beginning of my weekly hair routine. Hey guys. So I just washed my hair, I just got out of the shower, and my hair is like dripping wet. I haven't did anything to it, I haven't brushed it, I haven't put anything in it, I literally have done nothing. I'm going to first put my hair in a towel, this is what I always do, I do not brush it or put anything in it, I just put it right up in a towel and I will show you how I do that. It's really not rocket science by any means, I'm sure a lot of you already do this but I just flip my head over and twist it on up like this. So I will leave my hair like this for probably about 10-15 minutes and then I will take it out of the towel and I will just let it sit again for like another 10-15 minutes. I don't know I'm really not strict with it and then again I do not put anything in my hair and then I will brush it but I will walk you through that process so that you understand exactly how I do it and there are no questions asked but I did just want to show you the shampoo that I just used in the shower. I don't want to like condone or recommend any of these shampoos because I am not a hairstylist and I know that everybody's hair type is different. One of the shampoos that I use is Suave and I know that it doesn't get like the best wrap in the hair industry so I don't want to be the one to like recommend it to you but I'm just showing you what I use from my own personal experience so if you're a hairstylist or you work in the hair industry please do not be coming for me this is just what I use and what works well for my hair every time I wash my hair I do use this suave clarifying shampoo you can tell it's like almost gone I use it First thing, I really like scrub it in the roots of my hair and then I will rinse it out. When I started incorporating the clarifying shampoo into my hair routine, it just made the world of the difference with making my hair not get greasy as, as quickly. And then also the water that I have at my house is kind of more of hard water. So sometimes I will get like that oily, greasy buildup like right at the back of my head. And that Suave Clarifying Shampoo completely like strips that oil and buildup out of my hair. I do not know why, but it does and it works for me and it saves me lots of Malibu treatment. I haven't tried other clarifying shampoos. I'm sure that other ones work just as well or maybe even better. Maybe you, there's like a high-end one that would work even better, but I would really just recommend adding a, a clarifying shampoo into your routine if you do struggle with buildup or greasy hair. So like I said, I will wash my hair with the Suave Clarifying every single time I wash it. And then after that, I will go in with this Joico Moisture Recovery Shampoo. I actually just started using this one in November, and it's like a giant bottle, so I'll probably be using it for a while. I'm not like very loyal or particular to like one certain shampoo other than the Suave, but when I do pick out shampoos, I always get ones that are for moisture because I do 
tend to get drier ends. This is the shampoo that I have been using and I have been loving it. It smells really good. The scent stays in my hair for a long time, so I really do like that. So I've been using this Joyco Moisture Recovery Shampoo and then I will follow it with the conditioner. And that is all I do. I kind of call that double washing because I use the Suave Clearing Shampoo, rinse it out, then I go in with my normal shampoo, rinse it out, then I go in with my conditioner and rinse it out. So now, like I said, I'm just going to let my hair sit in this towel for a little bit, like 10 minutes. I'm like, I'm really not that strict. And then I will probably take it out for like 10 more minutes and then I'm going to brush it with this wet brush. All right, so my hair has been sitting down like this for a little while now. Right now it's about one in the afternoon. I normally do not shower and wash my hair really in the middle of the day unless it's the weekend. Today is Monday, but I am working from home today, so I just quick washed it on my lunch break because it was just disgusting and grossing me out. So normally I, if it is a weekday when I end up washing my hair, I'll wash it like right after work around 5.30 and I will do the exact same thing that I'm doing right now. So I did show you this wet brush earlier. That was because I couldn't find this one, which I actually like a lot better. This is just a black paddle wet brush, and this is my favorite. It is February 8th, just so that you can see how I actually go eight days and you know that I am not lying. But yeah, now I am just going to brush my hair as normal just like this and part it down the middle because that's where I part it and then honestly that is all I'll probably curl it later on today when I'm done working once it's completely dry I'm not gonna blow dry it I'm just gonna let it air dry it's what I always do. I will be back and I will show you what I'm going to do when it's done. All right, I just got ready for the day. Today is Thursday, so I didn't end up curling my hair uh, the last time I talked to you guys on Monday. I just let it air dry completely natural. And then Tuesday morning, I did curl my hair. And as you can tell, it kind of has fallen out. But that's okay. That's just what I do. So I only curl it down. I haven't put any products in it besides brushing it. This is what my roots currently look like. I could definitely put some dry shampoo in it. It's really not that bad at all. But I'm not going to because that is always one of my number one tips is if you think you need dry shampoo, do not put dry shampoo in it because I always like to hold off for as long as possible. So I probably won't put any in it until maybe tomorrow, if not Saturday. All right, hey guys, I am just getting ready for the day. Desperately am in need of some dry shampoo. I feel like it really does not look that bad on camera. I'm using my iPhone, so sorry if the quality is weird. I'm just gonna put in some of this Salon Graphics dry shampoo. All right, so now I'm just going to let it sit for about 30 seconds, and then I will shake it on out. Oh, and today is Saturday, by the way, so I am on day is that five or six. I don't know. So today it is Sunday. It is Valentine's Day. Happy belated Valentine's Day. And I'm going to get my phone just so that you believe me. Okay, can you see that? It is... February 14 and this is exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so I washed my hair on Monday. So when was that? How many days ago was that? Honestly, I lost track. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Six days ago. This is my sixth day hair. So I first put dry shampoo in my hair. When was it? Yesterday? And now today I have not put any dry shampoo or product or anything in my hair and this is exactly exactly what I mean I know that people are like so quick to put dry shampoo in their hair in the morning but this is what I'm saying like you gotta kind of ride the wave and wait it out a little bit so I did absolutely need it yesterday but today I can get away with it I really do not need it and I feel like most people would be like, well, I put it in yesterday, so I'm going to put it in today too. But don't be so quick to put it in your hair. 
because I don't think I need it and maybe I could like put my hair up it if I really felt like it but I'm not going to because I'm just going to be around the house today but I just find that when you like wait it out the a little bit of dry shampoo that you put in will last you a couple days to get through. I just find that like the more dry shampoo you put in your hair the more you need it and your hair becomes dependent on it. So today like I said I'm not going to put any product nothing no dry shampoo in my hair. I'm going to leave my hair down but tomorrow I probably am going to need to wear it up because I am going to be going in the office so I will check in with you tomorrow and show you kind of what I do when I'm on my day seven and I really gotta like disguise the grace. Today is Monday February 15th and my hair is starting to get a little stiff and greasy especially like underneath. Probably we'll wash it tomorrow. <laughs> so today I'm going to just quick kind of do my hair in a little low bun so that it can kind of disguise the grease that's down in here. And that's how I'm going to wear my hair today. So I will show you the bun that I do. But I do have a whole video full of hairstyles that I like to wear to help disguise my greasy hair on my channel. So I will link that down in the description box and up in the cards for you to check out just in case you are interested. So my low bun is all done. It literally took me two seconds. And I think it helps disguise the greasiness pretty well. So I'm just going to pop some earrings in and probably continue to pull pieces out and try to shake it up a little. But this is how I'm going to wear my hair today. It took me two seconds and I actually do have a tutorial also on my channel for messy buns and buns that I like to do in my hair and this one is linked so if you want to know how to do it just in case you don't know I'm sure that you do because it really is so simple so I will link that video as well. As you can see my hair is looking a little crazy. Today it is day eight or nine. I don't know it's Tuesday and I didn't really have a lot of time to show you this morning what I was going to do with my hair today, but basically all I did was throw it up in a top knot similar to this. When my hair is greasy on its last day like this, I don't really have as many choices. Like yesterday I wore it in a low bun or I could easily have done something else, but I find that when it's like on its last leg, I really just want it up and out of my face. So I will either do like a high bun or ponytail or something like that but I am about to shower and wash it but I'm just gonna take it down and show you what it looks like before I do that all right let me try to show you it's the top underneath so yeah it's just not look good <laughs> oh my gosh my hair doesn't get like super greasy and oily as much as it used to like in the roots but it almost feels like more greasy and like almost like matted down in a way like I put gel in it to like slick it down that's the type of texture that mine gets and then the ends also do get really dry so I'm about to wash this start my whole process over with some fresh and clean hair which is always the best feeling so thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope that it was helpful to you and kind of showed you like exactly what I do because I know that in my greasy hair video there is still some questions and I'm just trying to help you all out in all the ways that I can. So thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.